We're going to sketch a line passing through the given point with the slope m by hand, and then we're going to figure out the equation, and then we're going to graph it in the graphing calculator to see if we got it right. So the point, the given point is 1 comma 4, and the slope is negative 3 fourths. So let's see if we can graph this. 1, 4 is right here. And then the slope tells us to run for 1, 2, 3, 4. And rise, a negative 3, which means it goes down. 1, 2, 3. And then we should draw this line through here. So there's our line we graphed here, and our points are 1, 4, the run was 4, and the rise was actually a drop of negative 3. So that should be the correct line. Uh, the second point over there is 5, comma 1. And now we're going to figure out the equation of the line. So we have those steps here. We have the point slope formula for a line. We can choose either of these two points to do it with, but I chose the original 1, 4 point. So y minus the y coordinate is for slope times x minus 1 and then when you simplify with the algebra you know you multiply the negative 3 fourths over distribute then you clean it up with the algebra and you get this now let's get out our graphing calculator and uh, graph this line and see if we get the same graph as our original over here Okay, I hit the y equals key right here. And then I got this screen. So I put in negative 3 fourths with the parentheses. Now that's the little negative, not the subtraction sign, the little negative that's at the bottom of the keyboard of the calculator. Times x plus 19 divided by 4. Okay, so there it is. And now I'm going to graph it. So I press this graph button here. I already set up the window. My original window here was the standard negative 10 to 10 grid. So I set my window to negative 10 to 10, negative 10 to 10. I could do that by doing zoom number 6, standard. That puts it into the standard uh, window. So I'm ready to graph. Hit the graph button. And I get this, and uh, I should do zoom square number five to see it look exactly like my other grid there. So I'm going to enter and it draws it. So I think that looks pretty good. Let's see if I can uh, move it over here. So then annotate on it. Okay. Here's our graph. Right here. One four should be on there. And it is right there. One four. And 5, 1 should be on there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. Right there. So this is the way you should do these problems. Get a lot more out of the problem than just the original directions. And follow the directions that I have when I have them such as here. You know, all this stuff here. All that stuff there. All right.